how, how do you structure the hiring process? You get a lot of people who want to join the company. Yeah, um, yeah, reading a lot of emails. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we go through all of them manually. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a number of people on the team um, that, you know, all, um, you know, actually a lot of people, actually almost the whole company is involved in the hiring process. Um, but, yeah, reading a lot of emails, um, making uh, making a lot of decisions and oftentimes a lot of tough decisions because you know with 4,000 people there's and 4,000 people and there's only like so many you know pos positions that you can fill you you need to make a lot of you need to turn a lot of genuinely amazing people away and we're actually in the middle of exploring whether we can help other startups that n want more people and f need great great uh, gr great candidates that we can't take but we feel like hey you know we don't we, we have to turn you away but we still think you're amazing um here are five other great companies that i think um you, you might want to look at um so it's all manual um and uh and, and 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 yeah if you have ideas for for how to process them let me know but that that's that's one <laughs> we could actually yeah but uh we we, we don't right now <laughs> yeah. um so um getting from from hiring to the, like the or structure of the company um as far as i know buffer is kind of like a distributed company it's like a global organism um so how do you actually manage the company yeah um i i, I love the words that you've used i love the idea of an organism because um one of the things that so there's a great book that um uh, that, that that joel discovered and, and showed me and showed everyone in the company it's called reinventing organizations i can i can highly recommend you guys this book um it will everything that the way buffer works kind of will make a lot of sense um and, and generally i think we think about companies not as organisms but as machines right so we say like hey this is this this pyramid machine and we have the boss that needs to um you know um uh, needs to uh, motivate people and needs to pull the lever and we uh, the, the book the, the, this book has these great and says like we use all these analogies right we say like put your foot on the gas and uh you know move the needle and like all those were all those terms which which really are you know that's that's how you operate a car right um but uh, but a company is not really a car it's like it's made up of people and, and and so we tried to really you know i think from the from the very beginning we had some of those elements and we've gone much further in in recent months but yeah we hire from actually we hire from all over the world so people can can join us from wherever they are they can work from wherever they want to work from um um i'm actually the only austrian at this point so highly highly encourage all of you to check out our uh, our openings uh, i'd love to hear from you guys if you're interested um and uh so we we said like hey um, why should we tell people where they need to work from right like when when we grow up when you go to school when you go to college we all work differently right some people go to the library to study some people work from home some people do study groups and then all of a sudden then everyone needs to go into one room and sit in, in one desk and that's not how you work sort of didn't make sense to us so we said like hey why not don't why don't you just work from wherever you want to work from and uh, we have people that you know work from taipei they work from uh, um Australia, they work from South Africa, they work from places in Europe, they work in the US, they work in South America. Um, and and uh, you find a place where you enjoy working from, a coffee shop, from your home, from a co-working space, like 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 this awesome space. And 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 you, and you and, and you'll do great work. So that's kind of how we started. And and and, and it, the way it actually started is that that Joel and myself is actually also a little bit lucky. Is we. We were in the U.S. We raised some money. We raised about half a million dollars from investors there, and and then two days after the round closed, after the money hit our bank accounts of the company's bank accounts, our visas expired, and we that the U.S. didn't want to give us any new visas. So, so we had this bunch of money. And we just like <laughs> left and, and ran out of the country, and uh, we said like, hey, okay, we we're gonna. Um, um, we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna go, and we didn't really want to go, go back to where we, uh, where we, where we've grown up. So we wanted to explore the world, travel the world. So we went to Hong Kong. So we lived in Hong Kong for a while, and then we moved to to Israel, to Tel Aviv. So we lived in. in uh, I lived there for a while, and um, and and what was interesting is that all that time Buffer was growing, we needed more people, and we were like, well, we can't just move people around from like Hong Kong to Israel to like all over the world, and. Uh, we uh, just like this, uh, this, this. this um, so we said, like, you know, why don't you just, you know, work from wherever you want to work, and uh, we'll work things out with you. Um, and so, so that's kind of um, how how this distributed 
team came about and uh, I think it's brought a lot of fulfillment to people it's brought a lot of um, you know energy a lot of people can work at home with uh, with their um, uh, with their family they can see their kids more um, and, and all those things so that's kind of the structure of the company people work from anywhere and it's it's been working really well so far